how to give a voice to my NPC. Hey guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, you're gonna learn how to give your Roblox NPC a voice. Let's go ahead and open up Roblox Studio and you're gonna add a part. We're gonna scale the part, make it large enough so you can place the NPC on top of the part. Plus, it has to go all around the NPC so when other players step on this platform, it's going to activate the voice of the NPC. Next, we're going to go to the avatar menu tab and we're going to get an NPC. I'm going to use my own character. You can go ahead and change the transparency of the part to one to make it disappear, make it invisible. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a script to the part. And in your script, just insert the following lines. So at the top here, we have a function to give the NPC a voice to make the NPC speak. We call it NPC speak. Down here, all we have is a touch event. So when a player, when a, when a character touches this platform, this part, it's going to kick off this touch event. These two lines here are for debouncing. We're debouncing the touches. So we only want to count one touch every 10 seconds. Here we're checking to make sure that it is a player, a player's character that is touching the part. If it is a player's character that is touching the part, we're going to call this function. And this function is going to make the NPC speak. In order to make the NPC speak, you're going to need these four lines up here. We're creating a new instance, audio text to speech. This instance is going to convert text to speech. We need to specify our text here. So our text is going to say, welcome to Pebble Heaven. Now go find those turtles. Roblox gives us a bunch of options of different voices that we can pick from. We're picking number one here. If you're interested to know what is number one, Number one is British male voice. If you pick number two, it's going to be a British female voice. And here you have the US male, US female, US male number two, US female number two, Australian male, female, retro voice number one, and retro voice number two. So again, here voice ID, we pick number one. We're picking a British male voice. Now, in order for this to work, you need to specify an output device where you're going to output the sound. So this is how you do it. You're creating an audio device output, and then you have to use a wire to connect the two, to connect this one to this one. And this is where we're connecting the two together. So our source is the audio text to speech, which is this one. And our target is our device output, which is this one right here. This next line here is how you play the speech. So it's just going to play this line of text right here. Roblox is giving you the diagram here. So basically here you have the audio text to speech. That's your source. And here you have the output device, like your headphone. And you need a wire to connect the source to the target. One other thing we need to do is to go to your rig, go to the humanoid object and change the name to not humanoid. Let us now play test and take a look. So there is the NPC. It hasn't said anything yet until I go near it when I touch the platform. But here you don't see the platform. But when I touch the platform. Welcome to Pebble Heaven. Now go find those turtles. And there it is. The NPC has spoken. So that is how you make your NPC speak. Now, what if you want to add a narration to your game? How would you do that? Well, it is quite simple. So we're just going to copy the script here. And instead of putting it inside a part, we're going to place it inside a service script service. So how about we start the narration at a certain time in the game? For example, after 10 seconds after the game started, we're going to remove all this. Instead of the touch event, I'm going to change this to a task wait of 10 seconds. And then we're going to call that function.
So now as I enter the game after 10 seconds, the narration is gonna start. Let's play test and take a look. Now I don't need to go to that NPC. I'm just gonna wait here. Welcome to Pebble Heaven. Now go find those turtles. And there it goes. That is your game narration. Now for the script lovers out there, I just wanna give you one more thing to look at before we go. I'm actually borrowing this directly from Roblox. So here we have an example of a game narration. As you enter the game, the game is gonna say, hello, converting text to speech is fun. It's using a male British voice. Here you have your audio device output. You got your wire here. And the wire is connecting the audio text to speech to the device output. So basically this part up here, combining with this audio text to speech play, is gonna play this message right here. But then we also have all these here. So we have a count where it's gonna count one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 10. And here we have an audio text to speech ended event. So when the audio text to speech event ends, it's gonna kick off this ended event and it's gonna execute this function here. What this function is gonna do is it's gonna change the message here. It's gonna change the voice to voice number two, which is the female British voice. And then it's gonna kick off the audio text to speech event again. So when this event ends again, it's gonna repeat this. It's gonna keep on repeating this until the count is greater than 10, then it's gonna disconnect the connection. Let's now play test and see how this works. Hello, converting text into speech is fun. So that's the first voice. You can count to one because I am very smart. And that is the female I voice. Can count to two because I am very smart. And she's counting. She's gonna I keep on count counting till ten, and then it's gonna stop. I can count to six because I am very smart. So she got up to I can six count now. To seven because I am very smart. Seven. I can count to nine because I am very it smart. It skipped eight. It went to nine. And I guess it skipped ten. All right, guys. I thought that was interesting for those for those of you who love to script. That's something for you to look at. Everyone, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you again in our next Roblox Studio tutorial. Take care, everyone.